Hello and praise the Lord. Good evening or maybe good morning, depending on where you're watching me from. This is a Tuesday evening from Kenya, and I come to you with a story from Apostle Patrick. Many years ago, as a young man, I was coming from school, and I decided to buy some sweets for my niece and my nephew. And when I saw them, when we met, I gave them each a sweet, two of them actually, two sweets. Then after that, I said, please give me one. My niece refused, and she was actually crying. My nephew gave it to me, and I returned back to, the, to my nephew, and they said, thank you. Then my niece thought, oh, so it was, not, it was not about eating. He said, Uncle, can I give you my sweet? I said, no, yeah, please give me. She gave me, and I swallowed. Where? The kind of a cry that came out of that child. The mother and the father came running to see what was happening. And you know, I explained to them, I said, you know, I gave them sweets and I asked them to give me one. She gave me and I've, I've not even grabbed it. She said, no, it was mine and all that. And I was left thinking about this story. It's me who gave them the sweets. It is me who bought. And I had so many others that I could have given them, but they did not know. Today, I want to talk about giving. Many stories have been created around giving. I remember this one day, I met with someone, and he says, man of God, it was on a Sunday. How much have you stolen from them? That was not a good thing. In other words, you're saying, as a pastor, you steal from people. But this man did not know that we give more than you can imagine. But anyway, I went thinking about giving, and I have a few points that I want to share with you today about giving. Number one, giving is a reflection of your life. It has nothing to do with your pocket. I have heard people talk about giving, some very positive, others very negative. But analyzing their statement and looking into your lives, I discovered that giving is just a reflection of who someone is. It is not about whether you have or you don't have. It is about your heart. And I want to say, if you are not a giver, it is about your heart. And if you are a giver, it is about your heart. Giving is a reflection of your life. Number two, giving is not God's way of raising money. Giving is God's way of raising men. One man, Bishop Oyendebo, says that God is never broke, and so he will not ask for money because he is broke. But every time God wants to make a man, when God wants to lift someone, he asks for something. He wanted to bless Abraham, and he said, can you give me your son? When Abraham went to, as far as giving the son, the Lord said, now Abraham, please, don't kill your son. I'm not after your son. I am not a man eater. I'm just, I wanted to lift you. And now because you have done that, I will lift you. Listen to me, people. Every time God wants to lift someone, he asks them to give. And every time the devil wants to put you down, he will discourage you from giving. I speak to you today. You have been feeling like, oh, I've given too much. Remember, a river has never complained for f having f been flowing for a long time. Remember, a well will never make noise that you have been scooping water out of me. The more you scoop water, the more you get fresh water. I encourage you, keep on giving. This is a reward. It is not God's way of raising money from you. It is God's way of raising you to a different person. Number three. Giving is more than a responsibility. It is a privilege. It is more than an act of obedience. Giving is an evidence of our faith. Those ones were spoken by a man called William Arthur. What was he saying? That when you give, what you are doing is you are obeying the Lord. But it is more than that. It is actually more than a responsibility. And he continues to say, giving 
is evidence of our faith in God. The reason why we give is because we know one who gave us is faithful enough to give us another one or better things. I have been challenged in many occasions to give, and I have given sometimes and I've been left with nothing. I know there are times I've given, and I look back, I say, did I hear God well when I was giving this and the other? But I realized I did that in obedience to the word of God. Because of that, I have today a joint so much because once God knew that I can trust him by giving, he has trusted me by giving to me. Giving is more than a responsibility. It is an act of obedience. It is actually an act of faith. It says that we believe in God. Number four, giving is a warfare strategy. Have you been fighting battles for your family, for your work, for your career, and you never seem to win any battle? I speak to you today. Please hear me. If you have to win that battle, change the strategy. Maybe you need to give a seed. You need to plant a seed by faith and a way to see what the Lord will do. I know of a man called Samuel. People came to him in chapter 7 of First Samuel. And they said, please don't stop calling heaven on our behalf. This man did not pray. He went ahead and he sacrificed. When he sacrificed, the Bible says, God thundered from heaven. Is it possible that you have been praying and praying and you are not seeing result? Change the strategy. Add something to your prayer. Add a sacrifice. Giving is a warfare strategy. Number five, giving determines your level of receiving. I know and you know you are listening to me, you get this right. If you check in your life, you always receive a measure of what you are comfortable giving. One man said, why is it that nobody blesses me with anything? I said, check whether you bless people with something. And I've always checked that any person that gives always receives a measure of what he gives. I've checked. If you give one dollar or one shilling or one hundred, you will never lack that. When you increase to ten dollars to a hundred dollars, God also makes sure that you receive a reflection of what you give. If you want to change your life, don't do many things. Change your level of giving. Those are my five points on giving. I know somebody may say, Apostle, where do you get all this from? These are not just stories. I have documented them. There's a book called Money Matters, Spiritual Foundation, Principles, and the Practical Application. It is a new edition of the first one, Money Matters, the Spiritual Dimension. I've talked about giving, and I've given you several reasons why you need to give and why giving is powerful. If you go to Amazon, you'll be able to order your copy, read it, and of course, write back to me and tell me what you found in this book. If you are not in, able to get it in Amazon, call us or write to us on the numbers on the screen. Somebody will respond to you, and you'll know how to get a copy of this book. I want to ask you to go further. Don't just listen and put it off. Listen share, and subscribe. Then press the bell so that next week, as I talk to you about the five nuggets of wisdom, you will not miss. God bless you. Shalom.